Hi, in this video, I want to talk about how we can keep text from being selected. Um, so you might have a web page and you don't want um, the selection to appear in any certain way, or you don't want text to be selectable so you can't drag over it. Um, so we'll talk about how to do that and how to do some other um, interesting things with selecting. So first off, if we have a div with the class name no selection. We're going to give it some text, my text. Um, this is how you keep it from selecting. Our main most important one here, if we actually commented all these out, by the way, it's how you do comments in CSS. It's like uh, multi-line comments in JavaScript. So anything between these two will not be processed, um, but still won't let you select. So user select none. These are essentially polyfills, or things you put in, um, in the case that certain browsers won't recognize user select. So um, when something's added to CSS, browsers take them a little bit of time to get with the program and add it in to their implementation. And this sort of helps um, some browsers. It's like an external library that fills in uh, what hasn't been used, or what hasn't been implemented, essentially. Um, but user select right here, what this will do is it'll say the, the selection should be 